sloppy but you get the idea what's up everybody don't mind this uh, squirrel I got here it's just got a nice microphone in its tail in this lesson I'm gonna go over uh, to Dow tad out tad out tad out by uh, FKJ and Masengo just the intro loop that kind of repeats throughout the song if you want the tabs to this those are available on my patreon page uh, that you could print out you could slow down you could check them out uh, so that's at patreon.com slash pal music. And if you enjoy this lesson, please like it. Please subscribe to the channel. Please tell people you know. I appreciate it. All right, let's do it. All right, so to play this awesome loop, you're going to start with an A minor 7 9 chord. So an A minor 9 chord. And this is the voicing. So you've got your second finger on this A root note on the 12th fret of the A string first finger on the 10th fret of the D string, and then finger 3, 12th fret on the G, and finger 4, 12th fret on the B. So there's your voicing. And you want to practice getting this arpeggio, because that's the main technique here. So you can use your thumb on the root, and then first finger, second finger, third finger. So we start there, then we bring this A root to an E, which is 12th fret on the E string. So we've got, then we walk it down, so, so that's the 11th fret, and then that chord is a D minor 7. You could either play it the traditional way, like this, which would be finger two on the root, and then bar three across. But being you're coming from here, you might just want to use the first finger and lay it across. But you're going to skip over that A string. Then the first little flurry riff he does is, so it's that same chord, but you're just going to play those top three strings, and then do this little hammer on, on the E string to the 12th fret. Hammer on pull up. And then 13th back to 10th on the B string. Then the second time. And that we've got our this D minor chord. So from here, we're gonna hammer onto the 12th fret, but we're gonna play strings D and G. But you're only gonna hammer on on the D string hammer on pull off, then 12th fret on the A, and then slide 12 to 14 on the D. So, so putting it all together real slow. Awesome. Then Misango's riff is right out of this scale. So you could play it there. You could also stay up here where you were. Or you can even hang out over here. same scale, but we start here. You do this little flurry. Very easy on sax, not so much on guitar. Or you can just go. Then. Then. 
that's the main riff though. He does this other cool thing where he goes little chromatic walk down. So just walking down there, you know, and then they just riff. Anywhere in the A minor, natural A minor scale, is gonna work great for that. Hey, it's Gary here with Pal Music. If you want the tab to go along with this lesson, that's available as a free reward to anyone that's a patron at patreon.com slash pal music. Uh, or if you just want to support Pal Music, you can do so for as little as one dollar a month and receive awesome rewards such as live video lessons once a week where you could join me on video and supporting resources for all of the lessons I do. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.